Have fun with the weekend highlights of the European League of Football, presented by Euronix, proud technology partner of the ELF. As it's third and seven. Mack, four-man rush. The pass intercepted by Paul Seifert. And Seifert to the 20, to the 10, and in for the first score of the game for the Thunder. But Berlin, their league-leading eighth return touchdown of the year. I guess maybe it was meant for Mao that pass. But Seifert made the one early cut and went into the end zone untouched. Maybe that was meant for John Levi Cruza, the converted tight end. But it was so far off the mark. Jarman looking down the sideline complete for the first down and it's going to be a touchdown for Nikolai Schumann breaking the tackle going the distance but Schlamm the 45 yard field goal attempt good snap good hold the kick is up and it is good so Hamburg gets on the board both defenses playing very well only the 10 offensive points having been scored. And the two teams combined, and that's going to be a pick by Cisse. Saliu Cisse down the sideline. Trying to stay in bounds. He cuts back, and Cisse will score. Both teams with a pick six. Hamburg right back in it in Berlin. That happened today as we look at the throw from Jarman. It was wide of the mark. Looking for Emil Drossard. As you see, Cisse down the sideline, staying in bounds. Yeah, that's perfectly fine. And the player we may well see at quarterback later on in this game for Hamburg scores a defensive touchdown. He had a rushing touchdown and a passing touchdown last week against Frankfurt. Scored on a quarterback sneak on fourth and one. Again, Crosby in the backfield. There he goes. Leandre Crosby out close to the 45-yard line. In is the Wildcat quarterback here. This is going to be a fourth down quarterback sneak. We have a flag. We have a fumble. Berlin gets the ball, but this play, something's gone wrong. Kick is up, and it is good. So it's a one-point game in Berlin. Hand off to Vegas Strauch. He tries to get to the goal line, and he's in for the score. They do play action. Mack down the field to the end zone, and it's an interception! Taken by Alex Spillum, and Spillum on the return. Out beyond the 30, he'll get pushed out of bounds at the 38-yard line. And Moritz Mack, his second interception thrown in the game. And the TV timeout. Double coverage, it's not a good throw. Not a good decision from Mack. He's got to spot the coverage there. And Spillum decided to bring the ball out of the end zone. It proved to be a worthwhile gamble. Alex Spillum raising the roof. Not the free. I think his previous punt, 44 yards. That kick barely gets off in time. And the kick is muffed. And who's got it? I think Berlin does. As Slater had to run forward. Never got possession of the ball. The mad scramble at the bottom of the pile. Schenderlein's kick is up and it is perfect. 
Lesoff had switched from 54 to 56 right before the game. And now he's got number 19 on as Mack steps up. Mack takes off. Mack gets to the first down marker. Mack again under pressure, throwing down the middle. Complete for the first down to Tim Albrecht. Will Jarman throw on third down? He might as Maurice Wright Jr. timed the snap perfectly. And now Hamburg should call their final timeout. Miracles required for the Sea Devils. Max steps up. He'll take off and run. He'll get the first down. Yank down at the 30. Hold is good. The kick is through. And so the game not over just yet. Their first ever victory over the Hamburg Sea Devils in the ELF. And they will be playing more football next week in the wild card round of the ELF playoffs.